Hi there, I'm Simon. Um, I work in the West Midlands region. I'm currently based in two private practices where I share my week. Um, my dental career so far, I am um, three years qualified, um, did my VT in Birmingham, uh, moved to NHS practices and then now slowly developing my skills and I'm now moving on to private dentistry and um, private clinics around Birmingham. Um, I've always wanted to expand my knowledge about dentistry and improve my skills. Um, so I decided just to take the leap um, straight away, straight after VT, and I've never looked back actually. Um, the recommendations from my colleagues were, they spoke highly of the course and it was something that has always been on my radar to achieve. So I applied and luckily I got a position and the skills and the outcomes of what I've learned from this course have been invaluable. I did look at other courses. Um, what appealed to me was the structure of the FGDP, FGDP being well renowned, um, and also just the experiences of previous people that have been on the course, and it's something that I highly recommend. Um, and I would say to anyone that is considering it, don't think that it's something that you can't do. Um, at, at the start of when I started the diploma, I did think maybe I'm out of my depth. But what I actually realised was just how much there is to know about dentistry and just how much we can improve as clinicians. Um, the support system that you get with the restorative diploma is second to none. Um, I've never felt as though I was left alone and if I had any questions, the mentors on the course were really helpful. It's always interesting to reflect on your practice, so what you would have done two years ago and what you do now. and the growth that I've had just by doing this restorative diploma um, has been quite steep but also has helped me along my career and like I said it has opened doors that not necessarily would have been opened if I did not do this diploma. One of the best things about the um, FTDP was actually the, the tutorials that we used to have. Um, it was really beneficial where we could bring cases in and discuss active cases that you had at the moment. Um, it was really important to get the guidance at such an early stage in my career um, and obviously helped by senior mentors who then guided me in regards to what I should be doing with the patients and things that I should necessarily be looking out for that I would have missed potentially if I didn't get that support. I found the balance tricky to start with actually. Um, the balance of doing the MJDF and doing the restorative diploma as well as clinical practice, life was kind of put on hold for a while. However, as I started to develop and as, I, as the course started to go on, you kind of develop a natural balance of the work-life balance. So usually I would dedicate a weekend where I sit down and I study for the course. Um, and a lot of the other elements to the FGDP restorative diploma is clinical cases. So during my clinical practice, documenting cases that I would have done also helped with the restorative diploma, but was part of my daily routine. Um, so yeah, you do get used to it, you do get used to obviously the cases that you have to write up and the assignments that you are giving. The FTDP has changed my approach to dentistry. It's given me a structure to work from where I can now build upon my skills. Um, it's also actually set me up to complete a, um, a master's program following on from the diploma. And again, it's just opened different pathways within my career. So I would highly recommend for any young dentist considering some postgraduate education to contact the FGDP, put your application through, um, and I'm sure it's something that you will not regret.